guys in this video we will be learning pandas compare function in python i am using editor pycharm and python version 3.12 is installed on my computer today we are going to discuss very important function that is compare as a data scientist or software engineer you may come across situation where you need to compare rows in a pandas data frame or series right this can be challenging task especially if the data frame or series is large and contains numerous rows right i'm going to show you one example of where you can use compare function right i have two series series one india sales right i have series two uk sales okay so this is against on labels march april may right we have 500 300 400 but in may we have 250 okay so this is the problem what we are going to do we are going to get these differences right with help of compare function okay let me minimize it before getting started with any of the implementation you have to install pandas library on your computer if you have not yet installed it you have to open command prompt or you can open terminal and you type in one command that is pip install pandas right once you execute this command pandas library will be installed on your computer then you can start using its features and functions okay now i am going to quickly import pandas library and then we will creating two series okay import pandas as pd i have some code handy to save some time right here we have two series right if you print this series is so you will get the same output right so you will get two series series number one and series number two okay what we are going to do we are going to compare right these two series and get the differences right in order to do that what we have to do we will taking a result and then we will use s1 dot compare function right here we have to pass on as an argument that is other s2 then you will see the differences of both series right in the output window you will see self and other other means we have series number two self means we have series number one okay as for the data we have two differences in march and april okay for self which means it is a series one we have 200 right we have 200 and for series number two we have 150 right so that is why the difference came here okay in march similarly in april also we have 500 in april we have 70 okay now let's see next thing here we have default result name self and other by default you can change these result names as well right if you want to set result names and then you provide for self that is your india sales right and for other you can say that is my uk sales okay when you run the program so you will see now instead of self and others you could see india sales and uk sales right okay you can change the name of your result right next thing if you want to get your difference either vertical or horizontal you can control this thing with help of other parameter that is align axis right set this align axis zero means we will be getting our result differences horizontally right if you're in the program you see so these differences are horizontal right we have india sales where we have sales value 200 we have uk sales we have 150 right so this is a set this is another set okay now let's see other parameter that is keep shape which means if this keep shape is true all rows and columns are kept otherwise only the ones with different values are kept right so let's make keep shape true it will include all rows right respective of which is equal which are not right you see for may values are equal so it will show null value use keep equal parameters true then it will show us the correct value right you see if we make keep equal false it will show you the equal value as null right so that you can easily identify in complete data set in complete result okay which are different values right like this you can remove your original you can remove your equal data also right making it false keep shape okay you see equals values records are gone so that is how we can use 
pandas compare function to compare multiple series right okay now let's see how we can compare two data frames right so i have some code handy to save some time this is dictionary one this is dictionary two only the difference is we have in age column right right if you see at my excel so i will show you data frame one india sales data frame two uk sales right okay but here the difference in april sales we have different values right so these difference we are going to identify with the help of compare function passing data frames okay let me minimize it let me make first row equal and second row would have 40 and 420 right this is a difference right okay so this is dictionary one dictionary two i'm going to create two data frames and i'll print those data frames okay if i run the program so you will see we have two data frames right the data frame one and data frame two okay the same thing we are going to do what we have done with series is so we will be taking result one and data frame one dot compare function we have okay we have to pass on data frame two we just print result one right so you will see the difference okay if i run the program so you will see we have two differences right one in country column second difference is in age column because in the country we have 1 and 12 in another data frame we have country 1 and 2 that is the difference okay that's why it captured the difference country id and age a in age we have already 40 and 420 right as i said like we can also name our results right with any of the name by default it is self and other you can name it okay so you can use the same thing right copy and paste right so it will show you india sales and uk sales right you see india sales uk sales for age column india sales uk sales 420 so this is how we can get the difference right you can name it same parameter you can use right with data frame as well okay if you want to make your result horizontally right you see you can use the same parameter keep shape keep equal so we have seen how to compare two series how to compare two data frames okay that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.